Hi there and welcome to the session. This is part two of our playlist advanced data management with R. I'm your instructor Rajesh Durbala. I'm a faculty in business analytics and research methodology. In this session, we are going to focus on numerical and character functions, but this is the brief introduction, but I would like to discuss mathematical functions, the most important mathematical functions in detail. Okay, so we'll be reviewing the basic building blocks for manipulating data and uh, the functions could be classified as numerical and character functions. In numerical functions, you will find mathematical, statistical and probability functions. And after we review each type, I'll show you how to apply the functions to the column variables and the row observations of matrices and data frames. Fine. So my emphasis on my emphasis in this video would be primarily on mathematical functions. Subsequently, I will discuss the statistical functions and then probability functions. Okay. So let's go ahead and learn the basic and most important mathematical functions. So these are the most important mathematical functions. You can pause the video and you can make a note of all of them. You can understand them this ABS that is absolute value. Now, what do you understand by absolute value is a, let us say, for instance, you given or you input ABS minus four, and it will return four, four is the absolute value, the minus sign is ignored, we are not looking for the direction of the uh, number, we are just looking at the quantitative value of it. Likewise, SQRT, that is square root that is quite obvious ceiling ceiling is the smallest integer not less than x now for example let us say you uh, punch in ceiling 3.475 it will return 4 then you have floor x that's the largest integer not greater than x that is let us say you say floor 3.475 it would return 3 okay then likewise trunk that is trunk x now trunk is the shortened form for truncate okay now that is the integer formed by truncating values in x towards zero now for example if you trunk 5.99 it would return 5 and uh, next is round x and digit equals to n that would round x to the specified number of decimal places okay now for example let us say round 3.475 and digit equals to 2 that is to say that digit 2 means we are rounding off rounding off the number for the two decimal places so the result would be 3.48 then significance signif s i g n i f signif x and digits n okay uh, you will find that it rounds of x to the specified number of significant digits that is signif 3.475 and digit equals to 2 it would return 3.5 and uh, then you have log x to the base n that is logarithm value of x to the base n and uh, you have exp x that is exponent okay now exp of 2.3026 would return 10 so these are the primary and most important mathematical functions that we would use quite often for manipulating data frames and matrices now data transformation is one of the primary uses for these functions okay for example you often transform positively skewed variables such as income to a log scale before further analysis mathematical functions are also used as components in formulas in plotting functions for example x versus sin x and in formatting numerical values prior to printing now this is very very important so i would strongly recommend you practice all these functions before jumping in to serious problems okay so just pause the video make a note of all of them practice these functions with some hypothetical numbers on your x uh, r studio and just 
get comfortable with all these functions okay so that was it for today you can get in touch with me on any of the social media platforms i'm there on linkedin facebook twitter you can write to me directly at rajesh tutorials at gmail.com thank you till then